Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the Obama dish. You can start by cooking your onions and add a little bit of oil and then put the ground beef. You can also substitute the ground beef with, uh, with sausage. I'm adding butter, uh, we call it kebe, it's our traditional butter. Add some diced tomatoes. I'm also adding two eggs. Add more eggs or you can go without eggs. I, I believe they had green peppers as well. So let me tell you, I went to this restaurant in Cali. It's Habesha restaurant. had this thing on their menu and it's called Obama and it was their breakfast dish. I asked them why it was called Obama. They couldn't tell me but it was good and it was so simple to make. I just had to try it myself and, and it, was, it was so good. So here I am showing you guys how to make it. I was actually showing my cousin how to make this so while I was doing that I decided hey why not record this and share it with my YouTube people. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it. And yet, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know about the Obama name, but that's what they want to name it. So you know, I'm adding barbary right here. This is the spicy stuff that is spicy seasoning. Just having fun right here. <laughs> so that's it. It's done. And this is what it looks like. Um, there's three different kind of um, dish. One is the Obama, the top one. On the left is Kalawa uh, or Tifs. One is in Eritrean language. The other one is uh, in Ethiopian language, Amharic and Tigrinya. And the other one is a non-spicy Kalawa or non-spicy Tifs. I hope you guys like it. We usually eat it with injera, but we didn't have any, so we substitute with bread. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos.